AG fans, GojiFan93 here, as well as Super Godzilla Gaming, and welcome back to the Godzilla Retrospective series. In this episode, we are going to be taking a look at Godzilla games that are on your phone. So, with that said, let's begin. The first game we are looking at is probably the least enjoyable game for mobile Godzilla games. Not much to say about this, but Godzilla Monster Mayhem is an iOS game made in 2009. The game consists of you playing as Godzilla fighting King Ghidorah. That's it. Nothing else is in this game. So yeah, not much to say about this one. Okay, now this is one of the more interesting Godzilla games. Godzilla Strike Zone is a mobile slash PC game that came out as a movie tie-in game for Godzilla 2014. The game first came out on iOS and Android, but then was made available as a browser game for computers. The gameplay is super interesting, as it's the first FPS Godzilla game. The game takes place as the Halo Jumpers drop down into the city, and it's up to you to survive Godzilla's reign of destruction. It's very short, but for what it is, it can be pretty awesome. It's too bad it wasn't made into a high-budget console game. Okay, next we have Godzilla Smash 3. Now you guys know how I feel about this game, but we're not here to review each game, just to go over them. Godzilla Smash 3 is also another Godzilla 2014 tie-in game. The game is a puzzle game and plays like Candy Crush. You don't really control Godzilla. How you attack enemies is by connecting the most amount of the same colored items on the screen. The more items you can stack up, the more powerful attack you can dish out. At the very least, the game can be a fun time waster. One little mention of the next game is Godzilla X Monster Strike. Now this isn't an official Godzilla game, just another cameo. What Monster Strike is, it's an RPG game. It was released in 2014 for iOS and Android. The last game we'll be talking about today is Godzilla Kaiju Collection. Now this game I only played a bit, but I know you SGG played much of it, so I'll let you explain. Godzilla Kaiju Collection is a Japanese-only mobile game for iOS and Android devices released in 2015. It contains a massive roster of monsters, the biggest to date, and was consistently updated for over a year. Now while this was only released for Japan devices, you could still get it in the States by various means, but unfortunately the game ended its service on April 21st of 2016 and is no longer playable, or downloadable for that matter. Still, as basic as the game was, it was fun, and it acted kind of like a strategy RPG game, where you could play as either Godzilla monsters or military forces if you so chose. Well guys, that's it for this episode, so thank you so much for watching. Tune in next week, and we will be taking a look at some Godzilla fan games. Till then, stay big G fans.